here at the PRI in the Inside Track booth with Matt Williamson. Uh, Matt's got a car in the Eibach booth, and yep. so uh, we're going to talk about your show and uh, what you've been doing down here. It's been good. You know, it's nice to see everybody that you uh, you don't get to touch base with as often as, as you want to, and um, you know, all the, all the great... Uh, the great manufacturers and stuff that help us do what we do throughout the year. Um, it's great to come down and touch base and, and see those people and, you know, thank them for what, what they do for racing and, and for our race program. Okay. I'm sure a lot of people here have known you because you've been a busy racer for years, but this year it's a added level of notoriety with all you've uh, achieved. It's uh, it's kind of quite the whirlwind, you know, really. Uh, this, this whole year is... It went by so fast, and, and everything happened so fast that it, it took a while to kind of realize what we did and what we accomplished. And um, now that it's over, we get to come down here and you know kind of bask in the glory of it. So it's uh, it's it's very very you know humbling to, to do what we did, and um, you know we just got to got to work hard and try and do it again next year. Like it was like a career changing year for you, just. Yeah. When did it start? And just talk about some of the things you, you did along it's, the route. It's funny, you know, we won uh, a couple of satellite shows. I think it was after Burton during Oswego, um, you know, the Super Dirt Week. They, uh, there was a reporter that came up to me and said, you know, we're kind of the overnight success. And it, it's not like that. You know, we've, yeah. we've struggled and we've, we've cut our teeth doing this stuff. And we've been racing for, you know, 10 years in the modified stuff and just, you know, got better and better every year. And, you know, this year we aligned ourselves with great people and, um, you know, we, we have a combination of such great people behind me, and and now we get to be able to uh, to work together on, on a lot of the big races that, that not necessarily I was able to do at the level we're doing with my own stuff. And, uh, just uh, I'm excited about it. Yeah, and the level of the, re the racing you're at, like crazy amounts of money, like for you to go and race like Orange County and yeah. win a hundred thousand dollars in a race. I, I, you know, going up into that race, I always you know, dreamed of that. Dreamed of winning a, you know, up until that, it was it was Brockville was my biggest win for for money wise. That was ten thousand. Um, you know, hundred is yeah, that's next level. That's obviously uh, that's that's money people dream of. So, uh, you know, the Jeff Barron car was was you know spot on that weekend, and it made my job real easy. It was you know you dream about doing it, and you really think that it's going to be a lot harder than it is. Then when you do it, it's like now what you know so um them guys made made my weekend really easy that weekend and uh same as last week it was, it was almost you know very similar to that you you think that it's going to be a lot harder than it is when you actually do it so it was uh it was yeah. pretty cool but to achieve a win at super Dirt week like since you were little that, that's the super bowl for you guys like yeah and, and stewart's done it but no other canadians yeah and you know stewart had that on me you know winning at first but we got uh we got the championship this year, and we were the first Canadian to do that. So that was yeah. um, that was pretty cool. Well, that was uh, neat like, to go against Matt Shepard and yeah, down the to the story, wire and the then come out lines, ahead. Yeah, the storylines about it were, were incredible. You know, you couldn't you couldn't plan better that, that we were going to be on the front row together in the last feature of the year and you know tied for points and whatever it was at the time. But, um, it took a, took a little bit of time off my life, probably stressing about it this this year, and especially towards the end of that weekend, it was. Uh, very stressful, but uh, we, we got it done, fortunately, and um, you know, here, here we are, we're, we're kind of enjoying the show because we get to, get to do what we do. Yeah. Are you good racing with Matt? Like, you guys talk or get along? Or? Oh, yeah. Matt, uh, you know, Matt's obviously sits at the bar, um, you know, as high as it can go. Um, them guys make us work harder in the shop and, and make us think, you know, late nights and, and early mornings thinking about how to go faster and how to compete at the level that Matt's always competed at. So, um, to be able to... Uh, just even race with them. Um, obviously, you know, Charlotte, we, we got the upper hand in the end, but uh, just to, to be able to say, even if we would have finished second, to be able to say we had a shot at it and, and we were going toe-to-toe -to -toe with probably one of the best in a modified is, uh, is pretty cool. Okay. And then uh, looking ahead to next year, so we just chatted a little bit. You're, the weekend of our show in March, uh, Motorama, 13, 14, 15, you guys yep. are already in the your racing season by then. Yeah, we're uh, we're planning right now to go to um, the Short Track Super Series Sunshine Swing, I think it's called, okay. in Florida at Alltech Speedway. Um, we're going to run the Jeff Barrett car there, and then we're going to go, uh, we got two days off, and we go right to Volusia for um, for speed weeks there with the Buzz 2 car. So um, if, ev if everything goes right and we don't get any rainouts, we're going to do eight races in February, and um, eight races on dirt outdoors is, is pretty incredible before March starts. So um, we'll do that and then, you know, probably plan to go to Georgetown and and uh, after that Port Royal. And um, we're, we're just excited to get get, get moving again. It's, uh, it's a long winter and, and uh, the stuff just, you know, adds up the work that you have to do and, you, you know, the preparedness you have to have to do to, to get ready to try and, you know, win another championship. Yeah. And uh, just 
quickly, who are some of the people you want to thank for uh, what uh, you achieved this year and to yeah, this point? You know, I couldn't do it without my great car owners. Um, you know, obviously Paul Wentz, uh, car that we get to drive on, on Saturday, Friday nights, um, and then we raced it at the Saturday at uh, Orange County. Was was uh, we had a great year with them. And, you know, Buzz Two, uh, the Buzz Two Chevrolet car. Uh, them guys is uh, incredible too. Uh, what we what we accomplished, and then it all started off with Jeff. So um, Jeff and Harry, and it's uh, I'm blessed to race for them guys. And then you know, obviously Wayne Con, uh, S and M Service Center, and, and everybody that's uh, that's you know made me to get to the point where we we can have these car owners, and, and they they believe in me to drive their race cars. So um, couldn't do it without everybody along the, along the line, and uh, we're just gonna keep digging and try and do it again next year. Okay, and all of your success. Uh, you're in BRP cars all summer long, or yes, all yeah, along, yeah. I guess. Yeah, all the yeah. cars that we race and all the cars, you know, all the car owners that we race for, um, all believe in in the product that we build at Picnic Racing Products, and uh, that's cool. Um, obviously, I, I wouldn't want to be in any other race car than than what they supply. And right now, uh, they're on top of their game, and uh, you know, it's pretty hard to beat a BRP car now. So, it makes my job a little easier, and uh, we. Uh, we kind of sat down after the Super Nerd Series and realized that we, we raced um, every lap of, of every series race. We didn't have one DNF. We didn't go down a lap. And, uh, to do that on a 20-something race schedule is, is pretty incredible. It shows uh, shows how good this, the people that you have behind you are, you know, starting with preparing the race cars. And, and then, uh, obviously, the chassis manufacturers, the parts manufacturers, and, and the motor builders. So that says a lot for the program. And... Uh, we're excited about uh, what we've what we've learned here this weekend and what we're going to bring home this. Okay. Oh, um, the NASCAR Pinty Series uh, going to race in, on the dirt in this weekend. Yep. I know there's been some interest in some of the dirt guys and maybe participating. Are, are you one of them? We've had some talks, uh, very preliminary. Uh, and obviously, it would be a great opportunity to race uh, race a NASCAR race. I guess NASCAR is, uh, you know, they they're the top level and. Uh, to be able to go on dirt it would be pretty cool. Um, I grew up on Oshawigan, racing sportsman cars on Friday nights. So um, if we could get the opportunity to race there, we'll, uh, we'll certainly take it. And uh, like I said, we're talking with some people right now to try and put something together, but uh, very preliminary. Okay. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. Congratulations on your year. Thank you. And good luck next year. Thank you. Look forward to it. Okay. Thanks, Matt.